up YouTube, Rotocut Gaming here, bringing you another cryptocurrency related video. And this time I wanna talk about the 3060 Ti. I got two 3060 Ti rigs, six video cards each, and I wanted to show you some numbers, what overclock settings I'm running, and what it currently is doing. I'm using the new NB Miner version 41.5 version that came out three days ago. I wanted to show you some fun stuff and, and see you know if, if this makes sense or not. And like I said, for version 41.5 came out. Uh, it's pretty stable. LHR unlocker uh, stability is pretty good. So we'll let, I've been testing it for the past three days and it's been working out great. So these are the two rigs, this, this particular one and this particular one that I've been running. And if you really go and compare things, apples to apples, right? So a 3060 Ti is supposed to give you 30 mega hash at 140 watts. And that's basically what everybody's sort of running with. There's a new, there's a website called hashrate.no that you can actually put your your video card in here, and it gives you uh, com comparative results. So on the ETH, and that's what I'm mining Ethereum. On the low, medium, and high end, depending on how aggressive your overclocks are, you're supposed to get anywhere from 58.94 mega hash to 62.42, roughly, right? If if you got a good good card and roughly that's what I'm running I don't think that I'm, I'm deviating too much from these results and uh, let me show you here right now um, and that's exactly it 62 59 62 right 60 nothing nothing too crazy so uh, it's been stable and these are some of the results that I've had um, recorded so the majority of my video cards are EVGA uh, I do have some Gigabyte and one Zotac one. That's that's the problem, child. But you know, it's part of the family. But um, let let me let me go through this thing. I am running um, the the core clock lock locked at 1455, and I use that on the command prompt uh, with within the NB Miner program. I just add dash dash C clock at 1455. And uh, the other settings that I do mess with is power limit, I put it at 135 um, and fan at 100%. And the memory clocks are kind of finicky. So the two rigs, if you notice here, they're, they're different. Uh, but I've been doing some testing. Don't know if it's a motherboard issue, don't know uh, if it's a power supply issue. But sometimes you, do, you are gonna get differences. Maybe I need to do some more testing, but these definitely do look different from, from each other. Um, not too much though, you know, it's on Windows is plus 1300 uh, Close to plus 1300 on both of them, but it, it, They're different. They're not the same. So but what I one thing that I do want to point out is that the uh, the efficiency went up After the LHR was unlocked it was below 400 400 kilohashes per watt and now it's well above it So the average is you know 465 K and that's because uh, the, there's two that are pretty high. Uh, these are my FTW3s, 3060 Ti's. They're pretty good and they're pretty efficient. They run cooler, they, they require less power, and uh, just really happy with them. If I was a video gamer and, and, I, would, and I were to invest in a 3060 Ti, I would definitely go for these because they they're amazing. But anyway, th this is this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, let me see the the hash rate overall uh, as an average. We're looking at sixty point nine. So does that conform with? Um, it, it conforms, I guess, with the medium overclock aggressiveness. So it's it's fine for me. For my for my case, I keep them in a garage. So it's, they're not necessarily super cool, you know. So I keep them in a the garage and this setting is, is more than enough for me. I am happy with it. Let's see how long this mining Ethereum business is gonna last. I fear that it's, it's, in, it's impending doom, it's around the corner. And after that, who knows? Ravencoin might be a good, I'm a big fan of Ravencoin, so I might go into that one. Or, or depending on which coin is gonna be the most profitable. So Ethereum right now is 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 more the most profitable for let's say a 3060 Ti. Will Ravencoin be more, more profitable or these other ones? Who knows? But that's oh I'm I'm, I'm showing my screen without really showing you. So uh, I, like I was saying, what to mine shows Ethereum. 
the most profitable for a 3060 Ti. And with Ravencoin, it's it's further down the list, right? And, and it's barely profitable. Uh, given my, my current kilowatt um, contract, uh, uh, per, uh, 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So who knows? I might have to turn them off. The bear market is incoming and um, we'll see. But that's part of the fun of being a miner. Anyway, that's all I got. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. And if you, got, if you have any questions or comments for me, let me know in the comments. If not, it's cool. I, I, I do appreciate you guys stopping by and at least clicking it. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Thanks for checking it out and peace.